Hello and welcome back to 1909 Games. My name is Jan and I want to help you to make games. So we will start pretty easy and in this case we will use Bold. So it's a visual scripting tool if you don't know it. The link is in the description to the asset store so you can add it to your assets. It's free so it's kind of a no-brainer. <laughs> Today I want to show you how you can play a one-shot sound. So if something touches something else you will have a sound. Pretty easy right? So let's start with a new scene. I'm here in a normal Unity project, in a 3D project, Universal Render Pipeline, but I think that doesn't matter in this case. So here at my assets we have a scenes folder. Just let's make a new scene. So right click, create and scene. The scene will be called sounds for example. We can open this up and we need two objects. At first we need a 3D object that will be a cube. Let's replace it to 000, zero. and with pressing R you get this great <laughs> shortcut for the resizing tool. Okay, and then we need just another op 3D object that will be a sphere, for example. So, 0, 0, 0, we can bring it up a bit. This is from the size, it's just fine. So, let's see, we can bring up the camera a bit, just like this, so we see a little bit better when it falls down. So, what we need on our sphere right here is we need a rigid body so it can fall down. So, this is important. So, you see, you have the mass, drag, and for us, it's now very important to use the gravity. The plate right here, or the cube, will not have something because of this would fall down as well, it would never touch and it will never play the sound. Okay, but what we want to do is, last time we used on collision enter, this time I want to use on trigger enter. So let's add another sphere collider, sphere collider, and let's bring this radius up a little bit, so 0.6. And it will be a trigger, this is important here. So trigger, if we wouldn't have this collider right here, and then it will just fall through it, because the trigger will not collide in this case. So let's just check if that's true, <laughs> let's press play and you see it will fall through it, right? Okay. But we want it to have a trigger and it will collide. Okay, the same we will do here as well. So on this box we will have another box collider and let's say uh, it's 1.1, 1 1.1, 1 1.1. Okay, so the size is a little bit bigger and it is a trigger. The other thing that we need on this right here is a flow machine. So let's add a new component here, bolt and a flow machine. So far so good, but we need to add a new flow machine. So press on new. Here we are on our assets folder. I want to go to scenes and I want to call it play one shot on trigger, for example. Now we can edit the graph. Okay, let's bring it up right th like this. We don't need to start with the update function in this case. We just want to have an on trigger enter. On trigger. And you see here we have on trigger enter stay, exit and the same for TD. But we need on trigger enter. So now we have this on trigger enter. But what is the outcome? What do we want to have? We want to play a one shot. So let's right click, add unit, play one shot. So audio source, play one shot. You can have clip and volume scale or just clip. I think in our case, clip is just enough, but with this one, you could make it louder or not that loud. Okay, so clip right here. I've downloaded an asset for coin sound. It doesn't matter which sound you use. So here on this, I want this clip to be this coin clip right here. And the audio source will be on ourselves. But there's one thing I want to add as well in the middle. So if we now just connect it, it could work. If anything collides or triggers with this object, it will play the sound. But I want this only if the object has the right tag. So what we want to do is right click, add unit, and we want to add a branch. So a branch says true or false. Okay, so this will go here and the true will go to play one shot. If false, so if this is not the right tag, nothing will happen. What we have right here is this pink point. So we can drag and drop it out and let's compare two strings. So string equals and I want to have it A and B. And the collider right here that comes from our trigger enter will have a tag and I want to get this tag. So get tag. <laughs> okay, and here we go. Game object. So the game object has a tag and I want to get it. And that will, the outcome will be a string. So we just can pretty quickly connect them. And on the other side, we want to have a string literal and that will be, what will we call it? Sound. So let's just call it sound. Okay, so that's all for now. Let's just save it. And let's go back to our scene right here. On our cube, we are missing the audio source. Okay, we can add the audio source just right here. And on our sphere right here, we needed this tag. So we don't have a tag right here that's called sound. So let's add the tag plus sound. Okay, but if we now go back, you see it is not applied. So you have to do it just again. So here on text, you see here it is, it is sound. And now if we press play, and this sphere will collide with the box down here, we will hear a sound. So let's see if I'm right. 
and here we go it's that easy to play a one-shot sound but let's go back to the cube right here and edit the graph again i want in this case let's right click play one shot sound here we go with clip and the volume scale okay so let's go if it's true again we have this one right here it's itself all right the clip will be the same but the volume scale will be 0.1 let's see what will happen it will be hopefully not that loud see it's not that loud and if we go now to let's say five it's pretty loud so you can also of course define how loud it will be and you can of course have a variable for that as well so down here a variable and you can have it as in a scene for example but we don't have one right here but okay like this you can easily play easy sounds a link to the asset source in the description so if you want to check out bolt you have to add it to your assets but it's for free if you don't know how to install it there are some videos about that so showing you basic short videos about how to use bolt and you can of course combine them afterwards so i will make way more of these videos now i'm really excited about them i really like to show how to use this basic kind of knowledge here and i hope i see you in the next time and please leave a like a comment maybe what you want to have next and subscribe to the channel and there are some links in the description you can check them out and i'll see you next time bye